Happy New Year. Have you settled into 23 yet? <laughs> Such a wild thing, isn't it? Truly, Happy New Year. And I want to talk to you about how to make this the best year ever. And I know that you're getting bombarded by all these advertisements and emails about make this year the best year ever and do this and do that and start this and start that. And it can get really overwhelming. And I know that sometimes we can put a lot of pressure on ourselves. So I want to talk to you today about how to truly make this the best year ever and to share a little bit about how I started this new year, because I think it could be very helpful for you. So um, firstly, let me invite you to take a breath with me because I know that there's a lot going on. So uh. <laughs> so yeah, New Year's was Saturday. Uh, New Year's Day was Sunday. And I didn't really feel New Year, the New Year until Monday. I think it's because Mondays always feel like the new year. Monday always feels like a fresh start. And after New Year's, uh, Monday just feel, well, for me, it felt like this is really the new year. And just like every year for me, I notice my mind racing on how to make this the best year ever. What do I want to do? And granted, for the last few weeks, I've been envisioning, dreaming, wondering, what I would love to have happen in 23. And that, of course, is wonderful to do, to like have a like an overall view, like kind of an umbrella of theme, if you will, how you want this year to be, whether your theme is to, this is the year that you take your health to the next level, or this is the year that you really want to shift, you know, how your body looks or, or um, what your dating looks like or your relation, relationship looks like. Wherever you are, you might be thinking all of those things and then some, and I invite you to pick one, pick one. And, and I'm going to get to the love thing next because frankly, whatever you pick, whether it's I want to lose some weight and get more fit or I want to shift my work or call in the most amazing partner or take my level, love, love, love life to the next level, whatever it is, I invite you to pick one theme for the year. Because when you pick too many things, the brain goes, right? And that's when we can get overwhelmed. And there is something to be said about goal setting. There is, because if you don't have that North Star, if you don't have that, that where you want to be in a year from now, it could be a little wobbly and you can get off track and you're still going to get off track because life happens. Take a breath into that. Can you relate? Put it in the comment box, like how in the past maybe you've gotten off track and maybe how you got back on track, or maybe one of your concerns about staying on track. So what I want to offer to you is there's the theme, there's the umbrella that's holding the vision of what you want. It could be so simple. I remember years ago, I don't even know, it was a long time ago, but years ago, I would have, this is the year of shamanism, or this is the year I'm learning neuroscience. And I would like get all these books and I would have all, all this excitement about this is the year that, and that was the umbrella. That was the overlay of how I wanted to bring in this year, how I wanted to be in this year. And that just wasn't enough. And you hear this all the time. The more specific you are, the more the chance that you'll get what you want. And again, I'm going to get to the love part in a second. And so we have this idea of what it is that we want to call in. And may it be something exciting for you and for you to drill down into what that would be like for you to actually have this in your life. Because if you're not juiced about it, you know, it's like, ah, I want to lose weight because, you know, then I'm going to, you know, have better self-esteem. Is that really going to juice you? Or perhaps it's, I want to get fit and healthy so every day I have vibrant energy so that when I go on that date or when I get naked for the first time with that new honey, I'm loving how I'm feeling in my body. Or maybe this is the year of deep self-love where it's not about I've got to lose weight or I've got to get to the gym or I've got to push, push, push. That's what I want to talk to you about today because it's the pushing. It's the 
tightness. It's the, I've got a goal and I've got to make it happen. That takes away the enjoyment of the journey. And what I offer to you is every friggin' day is New Year's Day. It is. I get it. There's something about New Year's Eve. I get it. There's something about the, the change of the clock. And now we're in 23. Use it as momentum for sure. I just invite you not to put you know, a lot of pressure on yourself because every single day you get to create a new year, a new day, a new moment, a new breath. And so as you have the theme of the year, your intention of what you want to call in, I invite you every single day to love yourself up so much. Now, those are just words. So what do you do? You know, how do you love yourself up? For me, I just don't believe that goal setting is going to make you feel great if you're not enjoying the journey. So how do you enjoy the journey? And to me, it's steps and that they don't have to be leaps. You can take a leap if you want. Sure. And sometimes that's where a lot of the resistance comes in. That's where a lot of the fear comes in. That's where sometimes it's like, ooh, there's going to be big consequences if I really focus on online dating and really start to call in my man. This can be a little uncomfortable for me. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, right? <laughs> All the fears, that risk manager that's between your ears is kind of going, that's a big step. So don't take a friggin' big step if that's uncomfortable for you. Take one step at a time. You know, I don't remember I, some Christmas movie uh, series, haven't seen it in years, and I just remember the story. And if you remember, put it, put it in the messages or the chat underneath it. Put one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be walking across the floor. Put one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be walking out the door. It's been a while since I heard it. Not sure if that's even the lyrics, but I think it is. I think I saw it a million times when I was a kid. There's something to be said about step by step. And that's one of the things that I think is really great about 12-step programs is 24 hours just for today. So while you have your vision, this destination, this, I really want to call in my partner, or I really want to take my health to the next level. I invite you to do it with kindness and gentleness and one step at a time. There were studies, there are studies that show that the brain can only handle a few things at a time. So if you have this long list of a million things you're going to do, it gets overwhelmed. So you chunk it down. So yes, you have this big idea of what you want. This is the year I call in new love. This is the year that I start dating and really fine tuning what that even means to me and who I want to dance with and join with and love with and all that stuff. So you have your idea of what you want. Okay. And maybe you even chunk it down into quarters. Like for the first quarter of this year, I just want to figure out which online dating site I want to be with, be on and learn it really, really well. Or perhaps you're just getting your feet wet and you're like, Junie, that's a great idea, but I'm terrified of going online. And I have all these fears around, opening up my heart and trusting because I've been hurt. Well, maybe the first quarter of this year is grabbing a call for me and the link will be below for us to talk and talk about what you can really do with those fears. How can you be with the discomfort and dance with your fears so the fears aren't stopping you? The resistance, this block, this wall in front of you, in front of your heart, around your heart, isn't going to keep you stuck for another year. Perhaps having a conversation with me and looking at what are some of the shadows? What are some of the blocks? Maybe the first quarter, maybe the first two quarters, maybe the whole friggin' year is about... I need to figure out how to love myself and trust myself and know that I'm safe opening my heart again. Whatever it is, you can chunk it down. The big theme, the quarters. And then I invite you to pick a few things that can move you toward your goal. So I already said one thing. Maybe it's a phone call with me. That would be one step. Now, maybe that one step is even scary. 
Maybe it's like, oh, I don't know if I want to hop on a call with Junie Moon for a love breakthrough session. What is this love breakthrough session anyway? Maybe it's like, you know what? Maybe I just need to get her book, that book, loving the whole package. And I'll do her exercises and I'll, and I'll take some steps toward this creating of my next love chapter. Or maybe it's just, I want to meditate. And I'm going to choose that one step and drill deeply into that so I can connect to my heart and connect to my breath. And every day I'm going to build that new habit. I promise you that if you do one thing every day, one step that you know is moving you toward your desired outcome, you're going to feel so much better, especially if you do it with gentleness and love. So how do you make this the best year ever? One breath at a time. Seriously, one breath at a time and loving yourself up so much. You know, one of the women in my, um, my year-long program, Midlife Love Mastery, which will soon be called Midlife Love Unleashed. What do you think about that name? Midlife Love Unleashed. I love the word unleashed. Let's like, um, you know, let's just get, you know, break the, 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 the chains that have bound us, you know, all these years. One of the women posted a podcast by Mel Robbins and, and Mel was talking about um, science behind a high five in the mirror in the morning to get into that habit. And she says, it might be a little weird. It might be a little awkward at first. However, because our brain is wired to associate a high five as celebration and you've got this, she said, tie it in with when you brush your teeth. So you brush your teeth and then you take a breath and you look at yourself in the mirror. Really connect with yourself, not just mm, 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 and then out the door, to really connect with yourself and just like really look in the mirror and look at yourself. And this could be uncomfortable. Maybe you don't take that time to just look at yourself and send love to yourself. Sister, if you haven't been doing that, I invite you to practice that. Because if you can't truly love yourself and invite that connection to yourself in, how are you going to do it with a partner? So Mel was talking about connecting the high five with the mirror after you brush your teeth. You have the habit and the, the mind knows that the belief, the, the meaning of the high five. And so after you brush your teeth, create the habit of looking in the mirror, maybe smiling. I would incorporate a wink because I always do that. Like, I, I think it's just so great. Every time I go by the mirror, well, not every time, but a lot of times I'll walk by the mirror and go, you know, just to kind of go, I see you, Jeannie. Yeah. You're cutie pie. I love you. And with that said, high five the mirror. I did that today. It was cool. And sometimes you have to act as if it, if it feels weird. Habits. Building better habits. Not by pushing, not by whipping, but loving yourself up. Knowing that these steps are in service to you having a magnificent day. So... Pick a theme for the year. This is the year of love. This is the year of health. This is the year of fill in the blank. Maybe set some goals. Yes, by the end of this year, I want to have that juicy, yummy partner that I can build a life with. Or yes, I want to take my health to the next level. Maybe it's I really want to master the art of, and it is an art, <laughs> and it is a journey of dating and dating online and really learning how to date well. And a lot of you are like, ah. It sucks. There aren't any good guys out there. I promise you, there are great guys out there. And there, it's a skill, how to do online dating well. And it's a great tool. And you need to know how to do it. So maybe this is the year you nail that. And that's not going to just be a, I'm going to just get it done in a day. Then you chunk it down to steps, baby steps, day by day, building new habits, positive habits. And maybe it's the high five and a wink just to connect to yourself. Maybe it's buying my book, Loving the Whole Package, which is such a great book. If you guys haven't gotten it yet, it's on Amazon. I highly encourage, it's not just because it's my book. It's based on, it's, it's, it's about shadow work and the body of work that I've been trained in that changed my life. 
Some of you know I was 200 pounds and miserable and walking on eggshells and unable to express myself. I was so, well, read the book. <laughs> read the book. Um, there's a lot of wonderful exercises in it. So maybe you grab that book and do some of the exercises. Maybe you reach out to me. Maybe you just start high-fiving, breathing. I just invite you to make a decision and do one new thing today, one new step today. Because I promise you, if you keep taking one step at a time with that goal, with that vision of what you really want to call in, you're going to move forward. And if there's fear, if there's that <gasps> resistance, there's something to look at and there's something to heal. And it would be my total honor to support you. You can, you can apply for one of my complimentary love breakthrough sessions and I'll put the link below. So that's, that's my message for you, my hope for you. I really wanted to hop in here because I know you're getting bombarded just like me about make this year the best year ever. And sometimes it's like, you know, <laughs> it's like another year and Argh! versus, huh, the word for me this year is curiosity and being open to what is possible. And that's also fun. Pick a word. So that's my message for you today and for the invitation for you to connect with me if you are scared, if you're feeling some resistance. And if it's me or someone else, just take a step toward the dreams that you have. And if you're moving forward and loving yourself, you can experience love all the way through, all the way through, because it's a journey. It's not a destination. And it's good to have that destination point as you move through the year with love and gentleness and kindness. If you enjoyed this, I encourage you to subscribe and like my channel if you're watching on YouTube. If you are watching this in the Facebook group, put some comments below. If you know you can hashtag replay, I'd love to know that you were here. And share this video with a friend. You know, if you've gotten some value from this, this is how I get to reach more people and more people get to hear this message if you found value here. And let me know. I'd love to know. Put some comments in. I read them all. All right. Mwah. Be well.